What's up guys, in this video today we're going to be doing loads of modifications So we're on our way to our first mod which is the exhaust Something I talked about in the last video why we need to get done We're going to get custom exhaust done We're going to see if we're going to get down pipes or just a small silencer And then have like a nice tip and then have it finally fitting with the R-Line bumper Because obviously we have the regular 1.2 Polo and in the R line they have two different little exhaust exits so uh, yeah first thing up is exhaust we have so many things side skirts I've ordered splitter I've ordered a new diffuser what else we've got we've got so many things spoiler grill so if you want to see polo um, modifications what you can buy for your polo what mods there are available then definitely subscribe here if you want more modification videos then obviously we've got more polo content as well to come so yeah let's go see uh, if you can record it in the exhaust place if not I'll kind of just show you uh, how the exhaust looks afterwards, uh, but yeah, let's get into it. So well, this is a blue tip. This is what I'm thinking of going for. Blue. So I put the diffuser on just to show you guys, but as you can see, it melts away here and when it should be here. So you can see how it looks bad as well. Doesn't look that great. You got a new front box thingy over there. But yes, new exhaust. So it just comes out here a bit, and you can see exactly why the problem is. Look at that, chew it through the diffuser. So yeah, we don't want that again. These cost like 150 pounds, plus paying it. So save some money and get a new exhaust for it. Boom, after checking, uh, straight pipe and silencer, we went with straight pipe. So what we're gonna do is, see how it is for a bit with the straight pipe. If it is too loud, we can get the silencer added on later on. So straight pipe the polo today. Well, not fully straight pipe. I think we still got the front box. So I don't think it's technically a full straight pipe, but like, straight pipe from the back um so yeah guys if you want to see how this sounds stay tuned we're gonna come pick it up in two hours time um but yeah like we're gonna do some more mods in this video as well so stay tuned uh for more polo mods as always subscribe make sure to subscribe so the new exhaust as you can see i don't know if you can hear me but there we go guys it's a bit shaky because the engine mount, it needs a new engine mount, but looks sick. We'll give it a, we'll give it a rev test later on. So boom, blue tips, what do you guys reckon? I was thinking maybe the black, but I thought I'd be different because if we get the blue front tips, yeah, shout out to these guys. You want exhaust, go check them out. Well, skyline there. A few cool cars in there, but boom. All right, so, so yes, we're going to give you a rev test. We'll go somewhere, a car park or something, but yeah. So yo guys, now on to modification part two, which is tint and maybe the spoiler. So literally drop the car off and we're chilling in Westfield. As you can see there, while we wait for this car to be tinted, it is boiling and wearing a hoodie. Uh, but yeah, obviously we did the back box delete. I think I said straight pipe is a back box delete. I think I'm gonna put the silencer after the summer. It's way too loud. Uh, I haven't even gave you guys a rev check yet. So that rev check will be probably before this video, uh, this clip anyways. Uh, but yeah, we're literally doing tints now and then we're gonna see if we can fit the spoiler. Uh, we was gonna get chameleon tints on the front, but however, it has like windscreen cracks, uh, stone chips. Uh, so when it gets heated up, it might crack even more. So it's a 50-50 risk. And we just said we leave it and just do um, the tints we're gonna to do to it. So we'll show you that. And then we've got some more bits and bobs to add onto it, maybe today or tomorrow. So yeah, just gonna be constant, different modifications. Looks like I'm on holiday or something, but we're chilling. But yeah, guys, uh, we'll show you how the car looks with the tints. So boom guys, got the tints done and as you can see, light smoke there. So you can barely see, which is what I kind of wanted. And then we're going to put eyebrows on later. We've got a tint strip here, so like a sun strip. It's a bit short, so we was going to get uh, chameleons. But yeah, I've got stone chips over here, I'll show you. So one there, and then one there. So with the heat, it could crack even more, so you don't want to risk it. And then boom. Uh, extra mod so there's two in one mods today so there's three mods in total in this video and obviously more to come but carbon spoiler we just got a tape on there that's going to come off in a few days and then oh yeah rear window tint so literally a mirror there uh and yeah i don't know if i showed you the exhaust i'm going to give you a rev uh later in this video i want to hold up for later in this video yeah that's all the mods for today so yeah shout out to elite car tint and they fitted this for free for me so i had this for a while sitting there and then boom as you can see we got two spoilers now that one's just an electronic one and then we got carbon i don't know if it's real carbon but guys let me know if it is 
Uh, but yeah, let's go. And what we're gonna do, we've got some bits to do, so let's get to that. So yeah, we're gonna change my fake GTA grill for a genuine blue motion grill now. So let's get this out and show you how it looks replaced. And now that is the after, it's like a mirror effect. You know, it just makes the car look so much newer, like it's just a 2020 car or something. So it's the blue motion. I took off the badge when I bought it ages ago. So the badge would have been there. Um, but yeah, it just makes it, a lot of people in the pilot groups do this. Um, buy Blue Motion Grill, remove the badge, you get that sneaky finish. So let's look, see how it looks with the hood down. Actually, let's put our eyebrows on, which I have over there on. So yeah, as you can see, this will be on eBay, 20, 30 quid. So I'll buy it with the black badge on there as well. That would have cost me more. Plus I painted it ages ago. So if you want to buy that, <laughs> let me know, I'll send you a link. All right, that's with the eyebrows now. So as you can see, it might be too bit reflective, but and then without eyebrows so one more to do so yeah we've put the bigger tape in now because the thinner one just didn't stick so we're trying a bigger one which i did use years ago when i had these before so this is the first time putting them on vlans usually i've done it with the stock headlights and they're still on the stock headlights so yeah let's see how these look now so but my eyelids are on um but yeah let's go that is how it looks the eyelid there sorry bare reflective but as you can see what do you guys reckon? Let me put wide view. What do you reckon on the eyelids and the grill right now? So that is mod four and five. So five mods so far in this video. So yeah, keep it. So we've got the back box delete, uh, spoiler, tint, grill, and eyebrow. So it's gonna be an eventful video. Can we get 10 mods? That is the goal. We've got a lot more to do. As you can tell, we're missing something here. Stay tuned for that and also stay tuned for the exhaust test we haven't showed you that guys so yo guys we're on to modification part six which is as you can see the fuse i'm with stefan here shout out stefan obviously has the blue polo which is in here my diffuser fell off on the motorway but that is the old one anyways we're gonna get the new one so modification seven in a bit um yeah we're lifting the car we're lifting it right now we've gone to his boys yard and we're gonna fit the diffuser there which is a max then gti splitter I'm gonna make it work. I've seen a few pictures online. I popped them on the screen because um, that's one of the reasons why I bought it. Uh, so shout out to these guys. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna fit this on, hopefully. So test fit in the splitter. There you go, you guys. What do you reckon how that looks? I reckon we calm, you know. It's not too thick. So I reckon we can survive the humps. But yeah, what do you guys reckon? <laughs> yeah, so boom, just drilled the holes for the struts there. So we're placing it there on the WRC bumper. So these are, this is for GTI by the way, I don't know if, know if I mentioned it, but yeah, let's remove tape, blue tape, means you're pro. I was looking mean now, well, yeah, we're just aligning everything, it's a little bit off with these, I don't know, we'll show you afterwards, but as you can see that one's a little bit there, that one's more wider, but it doesn't matter, we'll get it sorted. So reveal off the splitter guys, there we go, the Maxton GTI splitter on a WRC. So like I said, I've seen a few people have these. I think it's just the most aggressive and nice looking one. Just add some aggressiveness to the car, as you can see. So yeah, that is the splitter. We got more to do today. We've got another piece today. So making, this is mod number six there. So boom, obviously you had these bits here. Um, there, they got, a, it was a bit of pain to put. We did self tapering screws instead of using the Maxton bolt. Made life a bit easier. We'll see how long they last. But there we go, guys. What do you guys reckon? Oh, I'm gassed. Let's go. So, yo, guys, another modification today is we're fitting the diffuser. So, I've had this is my third one now. Shout out to Bolt on Dynamics who makes them for the R line. I'm not sure there's many people that make it for the R line. I know there's mainly GTIs on eBay. So, this is a new R line diffuser. Got it painted gloss black. Usually, it comes in a grayish color. So, we had to order a brand new one, like I said before. It was melted. And as you can see, no diffuser on there. So, Drill that into that and fit it on that. So let's get into it. See without the spacer, which is how I used to do them. That fits, yeah, perfect. Not too long. These are self tapering screws and it will hold. Trust me, I've had these for a while. All right, so what I'll do, undo these and we'll show you how it looks once we've done them all. So boom, I bought with extra bolts in there. Make sure I don't fall off. Uh, we'll show you how it looks in the car. Recording? So 
plump out the screws in. There we go, so I think there's only four screws. And boom, that's that. Let's drop it and see how it looks. What do you guys think? Looks so much meaner now. Obviously, we'll get some better shots, obviously, at the end. Showing you everything we've done, but I've got a spoiler there as well. So I'll give you a better look in a bit. So, so far, we've done seven modifications in this video. And yeah, let me point out a few more, because obviously the title says 10, and it sounds better when we say 10 modifications for this car. So obviously, you've got the V-Land lights here. So let me, if I go in the dark bit, you can see the V-Land lights. Really worth it. This is my second pair. I actually had to buy another pair uh, recently, a few months ago, because one of the LEDs did die. I'll put a picture on the screen. So I had to buy another headlight from Amazon. So, because I didn't have warranty, because I did buy that one used. On the rear, we have the rear lights, which is V-Land as well. So that's modification. Front lights is modification one. Rear lights is modification two. And the third one would be the wheels. So yeah, we did a video on both of these. So we did a video on the lights in the first polo video on the channel. And then we did a video on just the wheels previously. So that's modifications eight, nine, 10. All right, so there are some modifications that I haven't shown you guys. Obviously we'll say that for finale video where we do a walk around around the car and show you every little thing we've done with it, including the interior, exterior uh, that we showed in this video. and more that I haven't shown so hopefully you guys want to see that and make sure to subscribe um, but yeah there are still more things to do as you can see the car is sitting a bit too high so once it sits a bit lower I think it'll look more aggressive uh, so we need to lower it as well as side skirts is feeling empty in that space there so I do have some side skirts it's gonna be a bit long to um, fit them because they were universal ones which I have to cut down to size for this car so and then I need to refurb the wheels as well so a few more things still needing to do and any other little bits and bobs that I can add that I can find as you can see we put the splitter on a, uh, a bit more tighter now so there's a better look at the splitter with the better high definition camera so hopefully you like the splitter and then we got the carbon spoiler I don't, I don't think I'll give you guys a detailed look of the carbon spoiler without the tape so as you can see there we go and then with the diffuser and the blue tail tip there. So that's just a better look at that. So hopefully you guys like that. What do you guys think? Uh, I may as well throw this in. I did add LED number plate light. So that's a um, bonus one. See if you made it this far in the video. Um, very good. I'll try and put links in the description for most of the mods, like if I can find them on eBay and whatnot. So boom, that is 10 modifications for the Polar. Hopefully you like it. Obviously we still got more work to do to make it even look even better or meaner. Uh, so hopefully you guys like today's video. If you want to see more Polo content, we've done a couple on the channel. One of them got like 30,000 views, so I appreciate it guys. So if you want to see more Polo content, we're not going to be selling this car, we're never going to get rid of it. So there is going to be more content with this car in the future and maybe other cars, new car pickups, maybe. Uh, so stay tuned for that. So if you want to see more car content, we're definitely going to keep it on this channel and do more car content here. So make sure to like, make sure to subscribe guys. And yeah, let me know as well what else we can do apart from lowering it in side skirts. Those are the two main things I have no idea to do as well as wheel refurb. But any other modifications we can do to this, not performance because it doesn't really need it. And to end it off, I'm gonna give you a rev. I didn't give you a proper rev, so we'll end it off with that. So guys, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Peace.